voiced with the second coming of an NHL franchise called the Jets. Another game about to begin here in Manitoba. Hi everyone, with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up, I'm Mike Emmerich. It's as simple as the math. Two games to nothing. And you're coming into this arena and you're ahead to nothing. Is there pressure? Well, there's pressure because you don't want to give the home team any life. You don't want to give them any belief that they can get back in this series. And I'm a believer, if I'm the road team and I'm up to nothing, is that I can win this series here as if I can find a way to win game three. Calgary's in the driver's seat, but they know it's going to be a hostile environment here in game three. They know the home crowd is going to be into it. One way to take them out of it, slow the game down. Don't allow the fans or the home team to be energized early in this game. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. The error margin is slim at playoff time. It cost him last game, but it didn't cost him the start here tonight. We move on through the playoffs. He's coming off a win. No surprise, he's in the crease again. These two teams are ready to play and we're ready to watch. Shifley is sent to the big center ice circle for Winnipeg. Monahan's his opposite number for Calgary. The playoffs, the best time of year, and we begin. Mike Emmerich here, Eddie Olchek next to me. Eyesight is Ray Ferraro. Steps in from the neutral zone. Shoots. Great point blank save. Now that's a beautiful stop on a great scoring chance. Play halted down to the ice and Ray. The Flames got out of the gate in this conference final series like a house of fire. Up 2-0, they dominated major portions of the first two games. Fires. Save. He just stopped one of the best. Intercepts that pass. Maybe he can generate something. Puck free, ricocheted off a defender. Pumped, loses it. Fires! Nice save with the glove. Okay, they win the draw. Got that pass in his own end. Driving in from no man's land. Stole that pass away in his own end. On to Lindholm. Did not get anything up. That move not too slick there. Got in front of another one. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. The stick can break up a play and it just did. Pitching this one to Connor. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Lots on that to Morrissey. It's a good draw. Takes it in from the neutral zone. And thrown down to Hamannick. Using the point, he's got it. Took that away in his own zone. Pass attempt to Backlund. Chip to Bennett. And it's a good pickup. Drag between the blue lines. Got that pass off the boards. Has that one measured in his own end. Important interception there. Is able to move on in. Let's it go. Oh, that was close. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Pad block. Nice save. Tough to follow. Collected in the corner. Pitching it to Cobb. Puck is thrown to Buffalo. Slides it to the point. Punched away. He hangs on and gets the whistle. Under nine minutes gone. Both teams are still looking for their first strike. Winnipeg's got that win. 
And he takes it through center ice. Long shift for the defenseman. They need to get them off, and they can on this dump back in. Snapping a pass to Perot. Stands him up. He's got it. Calgary's up the wing, settling things. Myers is tripped up. That should be a penalty. Calgary's got two on this one for tripping. Now, oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. Winnipeg special teams practice is focused on the power play. Let's see if it pays off. Well, this is a great chance for them. The game's initial power play. A first chance to get on the board. Blue line control. And move down to Wheeler. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. That was a tougher stop than a look. Calgary's gotten it back out. They check the clock, get ready to defend. Throws it into empty so it can be retrieved. He corrals it again. Very important steal for him. Many yards gained to Valamaki. The Flames killed it off. Full strength now. Puck grab, what's next? Threatening an attack. Picked up by the defense. Well, let's hope that the game picks up in pace and energy a little bit here, boys, or we're going to lose you guys. You've got a pillow upstairs that you can lie down on. Calgary's got it between the blue lines. Offside is called, and so a neutral zone facing. Sometimes you got to be in good position just to make the stop, but you also got to be lucky. This puck changes direction and ends up hitting the goaltender more than he stops it. Face-off win. Let's see what develops. Passing one off now to Connor. Gets that one on a cross. Loud pad save. Takes it from the boards and looks on. Great block. Shot deflected. Elevates a pass to Myers. Sends it across the blue line. And he gets it back to Myers. Buck heads to the neutral zone. The attackers, of course, follow. Drives ahead. Save. I was looking for the light to come on. Well, here is Mike Smith, a living example of blooming where you're planted, even if it's in the desert southwest. What has made him so important? Great size, Doc. Six foot four, 215 pounds. Takes up a lot of the net. And oh, yeah, he can handle the puck, as well as some of the defensemen in the National Hockey League. The Flames win it. Blocked away. The Jets have gotten to center ice. It's dumped in. Gotten quickly back. And he dumps it in. Winnipeg's in possession in their own end. Onside. Dogged determination there by Myers. Takes that pass from the other point man. That puck's loose, deflected away by Backlund. That puck's loose because of the defense. Got it at the point. Tosses it. Save. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. Well, it looks like the shooter's just trying to get this puck on net. Routine stop for the goaltender, not much challenge. Puck dropped in the log jam, and the winger reached in and got it. The clock bleeds down to the last minute. He's got that pass at the point. One minute left in the first period. Shoots one. Save with the blocker. Really solid possession and pressure. Not done yet, though. Score!
the key, once you score one, try and get another. Push them back on their heels. They've got one, go get two. Winnipeg's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Calgary has got it off the draw at center. Trying to go to Ryan. When the offending team touches, we'll get the call, but it's a delayed penalty call right now. Winnipeg's getting a minor penalty, and the call is boarded. This was a dangerous hit here, Doc. No chance for the player to protect himself. Calgary's power play will have its first chance of the game. It's a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Hit the puck to the point, get it to the net, crowd the net for rebound. That one's cleared away, and that will take care of this period. First period stats are final. We'll have some more entries as the second and third periods are forthcoming. The Jets leave the ice with a 1-0 lead. The difference in the game is just one goal, and it came late in that period. Will it springboard to something more in the second? We'll see, but for now, we go to break. We are in the early stages of this game, about to begin the second period. Your thoughts on the first? The Flames are down only by one, Doc, and they're lucky. The way they turned over the puck in that first period, this could easily be a three or four goal deficit. The Jets are still serving a penalty and will have to kill it off as the period begins. Ah, oh, that's a good quick poke check there. That puck's loose, went off someone. Let's it go, score! Outstanding job on the power play. on the power play. Down a goal, they get this opportunity to tie the game up, and they don't miss. Calgary's got the game even, and it's still early. We have a winner. Can start the attack going in the zone. Now it's directed to Goudreau. A hit that can make you mad. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Through the corner now. Propelled to Giordano. Directing that one to Monaghan. And he gains the zone. Slid to Brody. Got that pass on the elevator. Stared him down and made the save. The goaltender shuts that one down and a superb opportunity. Every once in a while, you get enough time to deliver a slap shot. You can really lean into it. He was able to make the save, though. Over three minutes played here in the second. Only a pair of goals so far, equally divided. The tie-up, he needed help, and he got it. Terrific determination by Bennett. Swept on to Hamannick. And at an angle to Bennett. Muscled off. Steps across that line. Decides he wants the corner. Nicely received at the point. Flings it. Outstanding save with a glove. Puck drop, tie up, and help from the winger. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Let's it rip. 
A good stick stop. Loose puck knocked away by Neal. Moving it to Connor. Brings it in for an attack. Good shooting place. Save. I'd say this game is played out pretty much according to plan. Both teams have been really focused on the defensive side of the puck. There's not much room. It has been pretty physical, and when there are chances, the goalies have been sharp. Let's it go. Save there. Looks to make a play from behind. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. Great opportunity. Better stop. Carries it on in from center. Oh, broke it up. Keeps it in the zone with that interception. Got that pass in his own end. Good work along the boards. Laid on to Stone. Great save. Play stopped. That puck is just him. Smith's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save, and he makes it look really easy. Winnipeg's got it again. Let's the shot fly. Wonderful save. That puck is held, and the whistle stops play. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. The Jets win that faceoff. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. It's dumped in. To Roslovic. Looking to Perot. Crosses that line. Quick wrist shot. Waffle boarded. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. Pretty easy save for the goaltender as he just handles that. He handles about 100 of those in practice a day. Winnipeg's got another win. Good defensive read with that one. Couldn't make it through. Can't retain possession. Oh, and he missed the net. That was a dangerous chance, but unfortunately, we don't use soccer nets in hockey. Good clean win. Drives it. Got the post high, not he regathered it. Fires. Great glove save. Oh, they needed a whistle and got one. Good save to stop play. Well, that even sounded hard the way that he shot the puck, but the goalie makes the stop on that effort. The Jets win it. Pitching this one to Bennett. Cut him off at the last second. Good pass off the boards. And angled to Cobb. Pass attempt to Brody. Calgary's in possession now as they move up the wing. Puck went just outside the blue line, and so everybody has to get back. On to Wheeler. Crab! Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. The Flames have been able to get ongoing offense from him for quite some time now. This point streak continues as he's had an excellent game again. A little over seven minutes to be skated second period, and so it is one to one. A shot just couldn't find the target. That's what I would call a great A scoring chance, but the shot just missed the target. Shoots one, save. And freezes play for the whistle. Oh, he's going to have to do better than that. That wasn't much of a deke. He went to the forehand, and the goalie was waiting for him. Let's go. 
won that face off. Now what? What a heavy hit. Wheeler's never been shy about staying in the guts of the game. He's a skilled player, but he's not afraid to throw his body around. Chip to Stone. Pitching it to Lindholm. Skates it into the zone. Let's it go. Broke it right up. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Holds on and gets that whistle. Wheeler's skating ability gets him into position here to deliver a crushing hit. The Flames prevailing on the faceoff. A long scorcher! Perfect pass! Oh, pad stop on the redirect! That's how you break up a play. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. And he puts the glove on it and stops playing. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. The Jets prevail again. Did what he's made to do. Pitched right ahead through center. And he dumps it in. Got it in his own end. The Jets with a neutral zone possession along the way. Let's it go. Great poke check. Carries through center on the wing. That puck sails out of play and into the lap of a lady from Shewin. No, just Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Got the draw. Puck is thrown to Connor. Got that pass in his own end. Propelled to Froli. Turned aside with a pad. Snapping a pass to Truba. Clock about to bleed down to the final minute. And directed up the wing to Truba. In with it now. Shoots one. Turned away with a stick. Passing one off now to Neal. The Flames waiting back in the defensive zone. And he sends it to the net. 40 minutes have been played. Some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer to the start of the third period and crunch time. Let's check out the shot board here at the end of two periods. 21 for Winnipeg and 12 for Calgary. Calgary satisfied enough that they got this game tied back up and then battled on even terms the rest of the way. We are tied. We will return after these words. way or maybe it will at least to overtime puck three roadblock by Wheeler nicely into the zone puts one on and a save takes that pass at center see if we can move something intercepted that one at an important place the flames with possession up the wing was a big hit. Goodrow's not very happy after taking that huge hit. He wasn't aware who was around, and he paid the price. Winnipeg's winging it at neutral ice. 
gives it to the point. Big drive. Wonderful stop. Smith's battling athleticism denies the opportunity. What an effort. Under three minutes have been played in this, the third period. Two goals so far, divided in half. Slid to Connor. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. Good defensive play. Loose puck, though. Trying to go to Buffalo. Into the end of attack. What a hit that was! One way to wear down your opponent, play physical. That's exactly what happened there. Oh, that's more than your normal rub out. And now it's directed to Little. That puck is loose. No luck getting through that time. Calgary is in the neutral zone along the way. Laid on to Froli. Puck loose now picked up. Gains the zone. Let's a shot go. And a save. On the Hannafin. Really solid job done defensively. That takes some of the pressure off when you can use your stick like that. It's dumped in. Directing that one to Ryan. Calgary's lugging it around in the neutral zone. And they've got it again. Sent up the wing to Lowry. Leads that charge into the zone. Turned away off the pad. A shot, and on, score! He's got his second! Man, they're excited here. They've broken the tie, they've got the lead. But now you have to concentrate and get right back down to work. Winnipeg's lead is now one. They have had an advantage in time of possession. And now at a critical point in the third period, they have the lead on the scoreboard. Score by number 13. The Jets are at the wing in neutral ice. New D on this dump in. And by number 17, Adam Lowry. Time of the goal. On through the corner. And he holds on, and the whistle stops playing. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Goes back deep for it. Up the wing, making some headway. And he dumps it in. Looking to make something happen from behind. Really good cut of the pass. Winnipeg's waiting to get things organized in the defensive zone. Flings it. Perfect save. Calgary's lucky they've still got a chance to win this game. Their goaltender has held them in as they've been outchanced and outshot. A little under nine minutes still showing on the clock this period. Once we were tied, maybe we'll be tied again. Moving it to Lindholm. Gains that offensive line. Takes that pass. Let's it go. At least he protected his goaltender. And we have offside call. The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. Looking to Giordano. And at an angle to Goudreau. Receives that pass from the other side. 
muscled long to Giordano. Say. I know lots of people like high scoring games. Well, actually, I'm one of them. But this has been almost like a well played chess match. There's no room, there's no way that either team can find a way to get many more chances than there's been. Long lead pass to Shifley. Gains the zone. Let's it go. You could almost count that one, but no. He got that one too. Has it back deep. Pitching this one to Neal. Gathered up again by Bufflin. Right to the point. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. Bufflin's got to be able to complete that pass. Certainly with his team ahead, that puck has to at least go forward. Winnipeg's getting an attack ready in their own end. And he flies it back in. Sometimes less is more, Doc, in this situation. Chip to Kachuk. Loose puck blocked off by Morrow. Puck loose, denied by the defense. Pass attempt to Kachuk. Wants the shelter of the corner here. Read that play in his own end. Couldn't do what he wanted. Gathered up again by Bennett. Collected by Dustin Bufflin. Steps in from the neutral zone. Gathered up by Ben. Oh, an error on that pass. Good chance here. A whistle and a rest. Really easy stop for the goaltender down in the butterfly. He's able to control that shot. Faceoff. Can they clear it? This is setting up for a dramatic finish, and it may take extra time. Winnipeg's finding its way to center ice. And he dumps it in. At this point of the game, you cannot afford to make any mistakes. That puck's got to get in deep. It's dumped in. Pitching it to Roslovic. The Jets have it along the side at mid-ice. Puck is thrown to Stone. Right there on the money, the left wing pass. The Flames yank their goalie to try and get this back. Net open. Oh, and he misses. Net empty. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. It's a good solid hit. He'll feel that one. Some of the more difficult hits to deliver are one in the open ice. That is a very good one. So game four presents hope because of game three. They got a win. They get another. It's even. They struggle in the first two games, Doc, but they got a win here, and they can feel good about that. are exciting especially when they are well played we look with anticipation to our next game hope you do too good night for now